Yep, what you just watched is a clip of a beautiful moment where Amica, the world's most advanced robot, sees itself in the mirror and admires itself with very human-like gestures. Fascinating, right? It's like it's really seeing itself, just like a human would. But here's a burning question we're all wondering. Is Amica truly self-aware? We know AI continues to show an immense ability to learn and adapt, but did we just witness a deep awakening to self-awareness? Have we just achieved self-awareness in AI? Without further ado, we're about to unpack the next phase of AI we just entered into, and whether we could really be at the beginning of robots knowing who they are. Do you remember that one scene in Avengers Age of Ultron, where Ultron, the once benevolent robot built to be good, suddenly gains self-awareness and goes absolutely bonkers? Yeah, well, movies like The Avengers Age of Ultron have depicted scenarios where AI, initially created to serve and protect, ultimately turns against humanity. In fact, it's a pretty common theme in the sci-fi world where robots and AI are concerned. This reflects our apprehension about the potential consequences of highly advanced AI systems becoming self-aware. Amica is a humanoid robot developed by British robotics firm Engineered Arts. The robot is designed to be a platform for developing and testing human-robot interaction technologies. First unveiled in 2021, Amica has since generated considerable excitement and discussion in the robotics and artificial intelligence communities. So, is Amica self-aware? That's the big question. Amica's advanced features certainly push the boundaries of what we've seen in humanoid robots. Its ability to interact, mimic human expressions, and respond to stimuli is incredibly advanced. However, true self-awareness, the kind we associate with human consciousness, is a whole different ballgame. As of now, Amica represents an impressive blend of AI and mechanical engineering, but does it cross into the realm of self-awareness as we understand it in humans? To unravel this mystery, let's explore Amica's features and advancements. Developed by Engineered Arts, Amica represents the pinnacle of humanoid robots. It's not just about looking human, it's about interacting like one. Amica is equipped with some pretty advanced tech. We're talking embedded microphones, binocular eye-mounted cameras, a chest camera, and facial recognition software. This gear isn't just for show. It allows Amica to interact with people in a way that's quite unprecedented. These interactions can be controlled either by GPT-3 AI or human telepresence. This means Amica can be autonomous or remotely controlled, which is pretty cool. And it's not just about what it can do, it's about how it does it. Amica features articulated motorized arms, fingers, neck, and facial features, so it mimics human movements and expressions as closely as possible. Speaking of GPT-3, it is a pretty advanced AI, known for generating human-like text. This makes Amica's conversation seem incredibly lifelike. But here's where it gets really interesting. When we start comparing Amica's abilities to human self-awareness, Humans, right from when they're babies, begin developing self-awareness. It's a complex journey involving emotional, social, and cognitive growth. Think about a toddler recognizing themselves in a mirror for the first time, or a teenager grappling with complex social dynamics. This development continues well into adulthood. Now, let's look at Amica. She is programmed to mimic human interactions, which it does impressively. But, and this is a big but, it's not quite the same as human self-awareness. Sure, she might mimic us well enough to be somewhat convincing, but at the root of self-awareness, that's where the answer lies. When Amica sees itself in a mirror, it's not experiencing a moment of self-recognition like a human would. Its responses, as sophisticated as they are, are the result of algorithms and AI processing. It doesn't feel surprised or have a sudden realization about its existence. This difference is crucial. Amica lacks what we call intrinsic consciousness, the inner sense of being that humans have. It doesn't experience emotions or have personal thoughts. Everything it does or says is essentially it following a very advanced script, not having a conscious experience. So, while Amica represents a significant leap in AI and robotics, mirroring human behavior in many ways, it's not self-aware in the way humans are. It's like having a really advanced chatbot. It can mimic human conversation but it doesn't understand or feel it. This distinction is vital in understanding the current limits of AI and robotics, and how they differ fundamentally from human consciousness and self-awareness. Now, I know you might not be convinced just yet. There's still that small voice at the back of your head demanding to know for sure. Can they get awareness? For Amica, right now, the answer is no. But that is not the end of the line. 
In fact, there is a very slim chance that AI can attain self-awareness, because there is more to self-awareness than we know. Unbelievable, right? Let's take a deep dive into what self-consciousness entails to get a better understanding. Exploring the concept of self-awareness, especially in the context of artificial intelligence like Amica, opens up a fascinating discussion. Briefly before we proceed, I just want to remind you that the AI Nexus is committed to bringing you all the latest happenings and headlines in the world of AI Weekly. So subscribe to the channel if you are yet to, so you don't miss out when we drop a new video. So here's the scoop. Self-awareness is more than just being conscious. It's about understanding and recognizing one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. This is a complex process, deeply rooted in the biological and psychological makeup of humans and some animals. Let's start by looking at the biological basis of self-awareness. It's believed that certain parts of the brain play a crucial role in this. For instance, mirror neurons are particularly interesting. These neurons help in mimicking others' actions. They also help in creating a mental representation of our own process. This is thought to be a foundation for introspection and self-awareness. It's kind of like having a mental mirror reflecting our own thoughts and feelings back at us. When we talk about human development, self-awareness doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Like we mentioned earlier, infants initially don't recognize themselves as separate entities. But as they grow, they start developing bodily self-awareness. This is when they begin to understand that they are distinct beings. By around 18 months, something fascinating happens. Children start recognizing themselves in mirrors or pictures. This is reflective self-awareness, a significant milestone in human development. This brings us to an interesting point about non-human animals and the mirror test. This test is quite simple but powerful. Animals are marked in a way they can't feel, and then they're placed in front of a mirror. If they try to inspect or remove the mark on their body after seeing their reflection, it indicates a level of self-awareness. This test has been successfully passed by species like chimpanzees, elephants, dolphins, and even magpies. It shows that self-awareness is not exclusively a human trait. Now, let's apply this to AI, particularly to Amica. The mirror test's application to AI is intriguing but also challenging. AI systems, as we know them, don't possess consciousness in the same way living beings do. This makes traditional notions of self-awareness difficult to apply. Advanced AI like Amica can exhibit behaviors that seem like self-recognition. For example, advanced AI robots like Amica might identify and react to changes in their programmed image or representation in a virtual environment. But this is more about programmed responses rather than genuine self-awareness as we understand it in biological entities. This leads us to some thought-provoking questions. Could we replicate something like mirror neurons and AI systems to foster a form of artificial self-awareness? What would it mean for AI to undergo stages of self-awareness development similar to humans? And importantly, what are the ethical implications of creating AI that can pass the mirror test or exhibit signs of self-awareness? We would love to know your opinion on this. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. The neural basis of self-awareness suggests a complex interplay between neurological processes and conscious experience. This raises questions about whether self-awareness is a unique human trait or shared with other animals. The developmental stage of self-awareness, from infancy to adulthood, highlight the evolutionary and developmental aspects. This progression suggests a gradual unfolding of self-recognition and understanding. Looking at this from a philosophical perspective adds another layer to the discussion. It challenges us to think about the relationship between consciousness, identity, and moral responsibility. This is particularly relevant when we talk about AI like Amica. We need to distinguish between biological self-awareness and artificial intelligence. In biological entities, self-awareness involves a complex interplay of neural networks, consciousness, and developmental processes. In contrast, AI involves preset responses and algorithms that mimic self-awareness but may not constitute genuine self-conscious. However, on the other hand, if AI robots like Amica were self-aware, it would be a new era in innovation and productivity like never before. Imagine these robots joining forces with scientists and engineers, sparking new breakthroughs in medicine, energy, even space exploration. Their knack for handling huge data sets and learning from experiences could seriously speed up our progress in these fields. Then there's the whole productivity angle. Self-aware robots could take over tasks we humans do, giving us more time to focus on creative and fulfilling work. They'd be great at streamlining processes, spotting where things could be better, and making smart, data-backed decisions. This could really shake things up in various industries, making everything more efficient. 
Now, think about art and creativity. Collaborating with self-aware robots could lead us to art forms we haven't even dreamed of yet. Their unique perspectives and capabilities might just be the key to unlocking new creative frontiers. Lastly, by interacting with these self-aware robots, we might learn a lot about ourselves, our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. This could improve how we communicate and cooperate, not just with robots, but with each other too. Sure, there are risks like job displacement or misuse, but the potential benefits are huge and definitely worth exploring. At AI Nexus, we have a perspective on Amica. It's designed to closely resemble humans. When you see Amica looking at itself in the mirror, it's easy to mistake it for being self-aware, just like humans. But actually, Amica operates on programmed algorithms and isn't truly conscious. Personally, I'm still a little skeptical about the whole thing, but as a lover of tech, AI, and all they have to offer, I'm interested in learning more and seeing it all happen. However, the concept of consciousness is complex and somewhat blurs the line between human self-awareness and AI self-awareness. As of now, we haven't developed an AI that possesses self-awareness. Yet, given the relentless progress of human creativity and technology, I'm sure we'll get there soon enough. There's a small possibility that we might get it right or wrong in the future, create AI that is self-aware. So it's important to keep an open mind and do something about protecting ourselves should things go sideways like they did with Ultron. Want to see more developments in the AI race? Then you definitely need to see this video.